are named cross helmet. It's kind of fuse, motocross helmet, and on-road helmet. I'm here with Arata Ono, the CEO of the Cross Helmet, which I understand is an AR-enabled smart helmet. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about this product. We are developing a smart helmet for motorcycle, and it has several features on it. And then firstly, we have a back camera on here. It's kind of GoPro lens, wide-angle camera. Heads-up display also we built in to the front, and always it's streaming each other. So you have no blind spots yes. when you're on motorcycle? Actually, yes. It works as a rear view mirror and also you can see the navigation or time, weather, distance or so on because of it has Bluetooth so you can pair with your smartphone and pick up several features from the smartphone like if you want to hear the listen to music or radio or you want a phone call with somebody. Do you ride motorcycles yourself? Yeah, sure. Okay, of so of course you came up with this yeah. because and you actually are. my background is motorcycle designer oh. and uh, used to I work for Yamaha Motor Company oh, and cool. I designed several motorcycles but actually I couldn't ever I couldn't satisfy the motorcycle helmets. Motorcycle is pretty good year by year it's developing much better, much better, much mm -hmm. better. But motorcycle helmets it wasn't. Right, well, because people think about the hardware of the motorcycle and the helmet is very much antiquated. It's yeah. just something to protect your head, but it's not its not actually helping with your environment or augmenting the environment. Yeah. So my question is yeah. this. So some of the arguments against heads-up displays is that it actually distracts you while you're on the road. Yeah. So tell, talk to us about the research and development that went into the safety of this helmet. So first of all, we want to we don't want to make the distractive object on the, into the helmet, yeah. so that's why we put it on actual this location. This location is kind of car rear view mirror position. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Kind of like looking up a little yeah, bit. Yes, slightly look up to the display. It's kind of behavior. It's no distraction generally. Uh. Yeah, during motorcycle riding, and then you can see the yeah, your forward and the catch kind of you know 200 degree forward you can check always but if you want some information or if you want to check behind and slightly look it up to see the display great and what what was it that went into research that helped you guys come to this conclusion actually uh, my team and i tried to ride a bicycle motorcycle and then checked uh, several yeah, kind of location so lower, con consider uh -huh. figured out which location is the best location and um where where do you think this helmet's potential could be because what other smart capabilities does it have? Okay, yeah, so second feature, biggest feature is a sound sound control system. It is kind of one of the noise cancellation system for um, transportation or kind of traffic. Okay. It's a specifically traffic noise cancellation system. Uh, if we can control the frequency level, it's a divided frequency level, it's kind of high, middle, low frequency level, and controlled by yourself, and then it works. Okay. That's why we are developing that's kind of patent of technology. So what is this made out of? Tell me about the materials. 100% polycarbonate, mm. some, some like a military specs, pretty like a tough and lightweight. And then what about the design of it, if you're a designer yourself? Yeah, um, we are named Cross Helmet. It's kind of fuse, motocross helmet, and on-road helmet. It's kind of off-road helmet, on-road helmet, kind of design features completely different. Really? Okay. Yeah. And then we finally we fuse, trying to fuse this any good features on it into it. It's why this kind of lower guard like extension extended to the front, like a underbite. Yeah, that means the functional means like uh, easy to breath. We're gonna create a space here in, in front of your face. 
And battery life. Battery life. Uh, normally, like now, it's six hours. That's a long time on the road. So that Average, should be, yeah. That should be plenty. Yeah, I think so. And then how do you charge it? Uh, USB Type-C cable, it can be connected. Okay. So charging this directly to here. And I understand this is a prototype for right now. Yep. You are not on the market. Right now, we have been already starting the mass production process. Mm -hmm. And likely it's March or April-ish. We're gonna do that to the market. Do you think there'll be other features added on to the final product? Noise cancellation, and finally, we want to do that voice control mm. kind of system. Yeah, because of hand, completely hands free, yeah. just speak to the helmet and then control any functions. Who do you think is your target audience here? Price point is kind of a bit higher uh, 17 99 years. Probably suitable customer is gonna be a BMW or Harry Davidson. What about the certification for this product? Okay, yeah, right now we are planning to do that. The DOT is for mainly North American certification and the ECE, it is for specifically Europe. Okay. And finally, JIS, it's uh, for Japan. I would love to try it out now. Okay. Because I, right. I think I'll look really cool in this. Yeah. I would just wear this around CES because first of all, nobody knows who I am. I'm going to take the name tag off. I can spy on everyone and I'm safe from the crowds. Nobody can hurt me. Ah, slow mo. Boom. That's very comfortable in there. Yeah. I felt very safe. Okay. <laughs> okay, very, very safe. Very safe. Yeah. Thank you so much for showing us your house. Yeah, appreciate really it. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Arata. Thank you. Thank you so much.